Fingerprints required for seeing a job application leads to an arrest in a decades old murder case. Inspections find veterans harmed at VA nursing homes in 25 states. A study claims violence against long-term care staffers has been normalized. This and more next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, April 3rd, 2019. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. A Florida man seeking to become a certified nursing assistant was charged with murder last week. As a part of a background check, 51-year-old Todd Barkett's fingerprints were found to match those of a suspected killer in a 20-year-old cold case. Barkett is a suspect in the murder of Sandra Better. Better was killed at her consignment shop in 1998, days before she was set to renew her wedding vows. Barkett had avoided trouble and may have even worked in a nursing home, police said. But he submitted his fingerprints to the Agency for Healthcare Administration to become a CNA two months ago. His prints matched a national database linking him to the Better murder. Barkett was arrested on March 27th and faces first-degree murder charges. Nine months after USA Today and the Boston Globe reported veterans received substandard care at many Department of Veterans Affairs nursing homes, newly released inspection reports paint a discouraging picture of the care that veterans have received. From April through December 2018, inspectors from a private contractor cited 52 out of 99 VA nursing homes for deficiencies that caused, quote, actual harm to, vet to veterans. In three facilities, they found veterans' health and safety in immediate jeopardy, and in eight, inspectors found both veteran harm and jeopardy. The facilities cited for shortfalls that caused harm are in 25 states, the District of Columbia, and Puerto Rico. Inspectors found that staff at more than two dozen VA nursing homes failed to take steps to ensure bed sores healed or new ones didn't develop. In Cincinnati, one resident had five bed sores in six months, yet when inspectors visited, they found no one moved the man or put cushions under him for hours. In a statement issued with the inspection reports this month, VA officials said residents in their nursing homes are more difficult to care for than residents in private facilities. They said 42% of residents last year had conditions related to military service that have let them 50% or more disabled. We'll be back right after this break. Want a better way to invest in yourself as a CNA? And for only 10 cents per day, there's no better way to spend your daily dime. Start right here at knockacna.org. Click on membership, fill out a few boxes, submit, and you're in. With the National Association of Healthcare Assistants, you can begin your journey. With these great benefits that include 12 hours of education with the NACA Virtual Campus of Care. Our monthly newsletter, the NACA Edge, will come straight to your email with a special recognition to you. Registration discount to CNA Fest, NACA's annual CNA gathering just outside of Little Rock, Arkansas. 10% off anything in the NACA Pro Shop. CNA TV, our YouTube channel that focuses on topics, current events that pertain to what a CNA is all about, and much more. Start right here at knockacna.org. Physical and verbal abuse against workers in long-term care have largely become normalized according to a new study by Canadian researchers. Sterling University and Windsor University experts came to their conclusions after conducting group interviews with almost 60 long-term care workers across seven facilities. They found that violence is a significant risk factor in skilled care, with many incidents going unreported for fear of reprisals. Violence in nursing homes is often caused by resident fear, confusion, and agitation, the research found. Other underlying causes included understaffing, work being organized in a task-driven fashion, inappropriate resident placement, and a lack of time for social and emotional care. The study, published in News Solutions on Monday, also identifies some of the common barriers to preventing workplace violence, such as insufficient training and resources, system systematic underfunding, limited public awareness, and a lack of recognition of the problem's pervasiveness. 
The second and related poll of long-term care workers estimated that 88% of personal support workers and registered practical nurses experienced physical violence on the job. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week and I'll see you on Wednesday.